We are on the last topic of section 20.8. Last time we divide the Fourier transform of the Bessel function J0. So last time we have this expression, the Bessel transform of J0 T equals to one over S square plus one. This is a equation 20. Point 150, 182. This is 20.182. And then your textbook uh, gave another expression for a general n, so suppose the integer n, and a times t, the Laplace transform of this function is a to the minus n, and then factor s squared plus a squared minus s to the n divided by s squared plus a squared. Okay, so, uh, so of course uh, we can see if this is correct. So your textbook just say we can uh, do that by power series expansion, but um, without talking about how to do it. So this time we'll actually do it uh, another way. We first check the JCO because this is JCOT without a factor. We can check whether for n equals zero. So let's do the check. So for n equals zero, you have a uh, J zero. So we have Laplace, Laplace transform of J0 A times T. And by the property of the scaling, you know that this is just, uh, this is one of the, uh, this is uh, because uh, if you look up the property before in uh, what we have is uh, Laplace transform of F of A T we have goes to one over S F of S over A. Okay, so so basically now you you substitute S becomes S over A and divided by S again. That no divided A not divided by S. Divided by A. And divided by A and the S square S over A. So so all together. This is uh, just one over a or one over s over a square plus one. So this is just s square plus a square. So, and you compare with this formula, n equals zero, this, all these are one, so this is correct, all right? Now, the next one you can check is n equals to one. Well, n equals one, you are talking about J, J1 and uh, by the Bessel equation, a uh, Bessel function chapter, you know that J1 of uh, J1 x is this minus D. Okay, we can write uh, J, J0 pi. Okay, so this is a, uh, that's uh, J0 point X. Okay, so that's just from the um, property of Bessel function. So this implies that uh, uh, J1, as we, are, we are using A times A T. A times T equals to minus your D T T of J C O A T. And in order to use that, you scale this with an A here. So, so you have this. So 
is implied that the uh, first transform of J1A T is equal to minus one over A. And the Laplace transform of derivative, you get uh, you get S times the Laplace transform of J0 A T and minus the in zero value, zero argument of J0, zero, zero, which is just one. Okay. Um, and this one which is just this one, so um, this is just one over A of uh, one minus S over a squared plus a squared. And all together, you do a common denominator, so a squared plus a squared in the denominator, you have s squared plus a squared squared with minus s in the numerator. So compare this with that, this, this is correct. Okay, so we check n goes zero, n goes one. Uh, so they are correct. So we can test a general n by using the recurrence formula because uh, we know that uh, given two uh, basal function uh, consecutive order, so we can get the next order by the recurrence formula and we can prove the, this property by uh, the map factor of induction. So we can try that. So let's write down the recurrence formula, which is, uh, which is in uh, equation 14.8, not j n minus one x minus j n plus one x equals to two j n prime x. Okay, so now uh, we'll do the same thing and solve for j n as one a t okay and that would be equals to j n minus one a t minus two over a t t t of j n a t okay so this so is the basically the same thing now uh, we can do the, 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 pass, the pass transform of this one. Jn plus one, at. Now, the pass transform of Jn minus one, at. We are assuming that this is correct. So we'll have uh, this factor. S squared plus a squared minus s to the n minus one power divided by a to the n minus one power, then this s square plus a square, all right? And then minus two a, the Laplace transform of this derivative. So again, uh, that using the, the property of the transform of derivatives. So, we get S and then a transform of JN minus JN zero, but this is for N, we're considering for N greater or equals to one. So N is at least one and when you substitute zero in here, all those uh, J are zero. So all you get is uh, S times the past transform of JN, which is according to this formula, S square plus A square minus S to the N power divided by A to the N S square plus A square. Okay, so what we're trying to do is uh, combine this to see if we can get this uh, Laplace transform of JN plus one according to this formula, compare this with the, and you say set n equals to uh, n plus one in this formula, see if they are the same. So 
what we can do is uh, first uh, take something out of uh, a common denominator out so we can get uh, a square plus a square minus s minus one a n plus one S square plus A square. Okay. And combine the two. So now this one has A n minus one in the denominator, but you pull out A n plus one, so you have A square here. And then for this one, we have a minus two S factor. And then you pull n minus one out, so you have a multiply by s square plus a square minus s s factor. Okay, and now uh, this one uh, this one is uh, we have a minus two s. So uh, you can convince yourself that uh, this is minus one, copy everything. You convince yourself this is just uh, square plus a square minus s square because uh, when you have a square minus s we have square this is square and this is also plus s square so you have two s square so this is two s square plus two s square and then plus a square plus a square here and this is minus two s times this one so minus two n times a square root of s square plus a square so this is just this one so all together, you have uh, s squared plus a squared minus s to the n plus one power divided by a n plus one and the square root of s squared plus a squared in the denominator. So this is just uh, the original formula with n changed to n plus one. So that's the, the part transform of j to the n plus one order. Okay, so, um, so by the logic of induction, so this is the correct formula for the Laplace transform for all the j n. So this is uh, the end of section twenty point eight, and uh, we'll move on to the next section next time.